I think the first festival, it was this concept, this idea. We really wanted to showcase what Leicester was capable of and it just gets bigger and bigger. I think almost don't think about the drive, you just sort of go for it and you just want to see great art, great writers, everybody coming together. It's a big party uh, and everybody just gets involved. It's just a positive thing. The first Bring the Paint Festival was in May 2017. We'd opened Graph HQ some years before that and had spent probably about three years trying to get it off the ground. Uh, we were really happy to launch it back then and, and that felt big. And then it went on to 2019, which was bigger and bigger. And then this one is the size of the two festivals combined and some. We've got numerous legal walls, uh, loads of sites across the city. Obviously, we've got loads of murals throughout the city. So I work with my director, um, Anthony Overend, and we both curate a lot of work throughout the city as graph work. This year, we've got Atom, RCLS Mutants crew, One Ups, Yard Wreck, crews that real have have that real background in raw graffiti. Atom again, Smash One Three Seven, real like classic pioneers. And then you've got people who are pioneers of the graffiti game, but also do these mad murals like One ABC. I mean, he, his, his stuff is nuts and so complex. And somebody we've always looked up to. So it's really important to have a, a mixture of you know, your fine art, your lettering, and a bit of a mashup of the both. Uh, Bring the Paint really tries to reflect that. Fortunately at Bring the Paint, we're, we're a good team. There's, there's every single person involved is like, just come together on it. So I guess when it happens, we're pretty proud, um, definitely proud and definitely buzzing to just watch it and see it. Uh, and then after it happens, we've managed to get a bit of a night's sleep, <laughs> look back and, uh, and, and celebrate what, what's been achieved. It, it, is a big, it is a big deal. I, I look at this as a, a street art festival, but Bring the Paint definitely has like the graffiti vibe in it. And, uh, and from my perspective, it makes it like extra fresh, extra special. And yeah, it's, it's nice to be here and just walk around the streets and get this vibe, you know? It's, for me, it's inspiring. And, uh, and yeah, I think all, all festivals that relate with graffiti in, in some ways should take a bit this direction you know and not just go like full-on uh, uh, street art let's say but also like give like a, a chance to the local uh, writers and uh, hand them some walls and, and prep stuff for them as well so in that sense yeah bring the page definitely special yeah. the lineup this year is insane there's a lot of artists here a lot of people I look up to uh, and yeah, it's amazing to, to have the chance to be here and to just get to hang out with them, to chat with them, meet them in person. That's another uh, aspect into festivals that would will make me go home feeling like this was a great festival or not is like when people really take good care of you and these guys they're ace yeah for sure yeah this piece is just uh, goes along the lines that I've been working for the last years and uh, yeah it's another piece that tells a story about graffiti and, uh, and evokes elements from the graffiti scene and that's what I'm sticking to as 
as far as like the the work I've been working. power that that I I got from this living was to get the chance to influence someone else's life like through charity or whatever and and see like the real impact that me as an artist actually can have in someone's life and for me I think like that's the greatest power a man can have is to be able to just help out others I think, I think uh, like originally that's what I would do most of the time, it was like paint cartoons and character kind of stuff. It was always like what I was influenced by when I was like growing up. Um, but I also loved like comic books and illustration and more like figurative work as well. So now I wanted to try and like push that a little bit and still keep the kind of like, um, you know, like graphic elements of that kind of cartoony style or whatever, but try and like push the detail up a little bit and you know, like step it up a notch a little bit. Like I got the opportunity to kind of just do what I wanted within reason, obviously. Um, and because I've been like interested in, in comics and you know Japanese animation and that kind of stuff, I wanted to do like a big robot ninja in a kind of like anime esque kind of Gundam style, but with, with my kind of take on it. So it's you know it's a bit more graphic and, and just like you know there's something a bit more to it than just doing some some kind of like anime bullshit. <laughs> I think that's kind of noticeable as well, is that like, like I, I've, I've done a lot of different mural festivals and I think they all have a different kind of feeling, but this one like specifically, because it's kind of like run by writers, like for writers in a way, and I know there's like, you know, a bit more diversity there, but a lot of the people that are painting here have either come from a background of painting graffiti um, and then moved on to doing like something like different, but they're still, everyone's still pretty fucking competent with a can of paint, you know? Uh, and I think that shows is it's like that kind of, um, I don't even know what like category of whatever we do or whatever. You know, it's not street art and it's not this and stuff. It's very much like in this kind of like um, like graph and writer bracket, which is fucking sick. You know, it's like it's great because you feel that with everyone that's there as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Obviously I've started being a graffiti artist and I've seen the whole street art movement sort of grow up and uh, it's kind of let a lot, left a lot of the graffiti guys behind in my books and so I'm trying to bridge the gap between it, so showing graffiti but with a sort of street art element next to it, so showing that it's actually part of the same culture. So the idea is really that someone can appreciate graffiti more in a street art environment. I think out of all the UK's festivals, Bring the Paint has the finest quality of graffiti artist lineup. I mean, there's obviously Yardworks in Glasgow is pretty good, but the, to me, the, the graffiti artists they get here are some of you know, the guys I've always wanted to see. So the quality of work here is incredible. Less is great. I mean, I've been coming here probably for the last six or seven years. Um, I've obviously seen over those six or seven years a massive like rise in the development of the city, obviously because they won the, champ the, the premiership back then. And with this festival going off, I've seen a massive development in the art here, the culture here, and it just seems there's more bar every time I come there's more bars and restaurants opening. So it seems like the city's really got a lot of life into it at the moment. People sort of criticise graffiti, 
But I think it's part of the urban fabric now and it's part of the texture of the city the same way advertising is, the same way you know billboards are, the same way like, electronic signs are. Graffiti is all part of that and I think it adds to the layers of texture to the city. Um, Personally, I'm not a massive fan when it's done a lot of really old architecture. Like my dad's an architect, well he was an architect, he passed away, but I, I'm a very appreciative of architecture. So personally, I wouldn't do it on old buildings, but if it's a painted wall or concrete, it doesn't really matter in my book. Like, if you notice some of the guys who come back, people wouldn't come back if it wasn't a special festival. So like, you know, the guys like Hal Noz is my one and that. They obviously like painting it, so they might, we must be doing something right. I'm Stefan, artist named Super A. I'm from the Netherlands. I started painting graffiti in 1994 and around 10 years later I started focusing on art. The nice thing about traveling and painting murals in different cities is that you get to know a city in a total different way and in the end you leave your mark. The cool thing about murals in the public space is that it's for everybody, young and old. It's a spontaneous way of being introduced to art. You don't have to walk into a museum, you just bump into it while going from A to B. I'm working on a series called Trapped, where I show a cartoon character that surrounds his real version, or at least my interpretation. One of the returning subjects in my work is contradiction, two subjects that create an interesting tension. In this case, it's about fake and real. Living in a social media world with a lot of pressure to show a perfect fake version of yourself. Most people wear a mask, which they hide behind. It feels comfortable, but in the end, it would be good to show your real version. It's always cool to meet new artists and see them work. At the Bring the Paint Festival we all stayed in, in the same hotel and it was hilarious to hang out with this big group in front of the hotel. Good times. I really want to give a big up to the organization and all the volunteers and others involved for taking great care and making this stay in Leicester unforgettable. What a week, I'll be back bastards. My name is Brugi. I'm original German, living in Switzerland since 12 years. I'm a graffiti guy, living by graffiti, and I'm doing graffiti since 1994. I was here, I don't know, was it five years ago, four years ago? I guess it was the first Bring the Paint Festival, and uh, they wrote me. And um, I had, in that year, we had an amazing time here, you know? And these guys around, the whole team around Izzy and HQ headquarters, they are, they just do such a great job. So when I paint here on one of those most frequented uh, roads uh, in Leicester, or like shopping roads, almost everybody says, oh, I love your work, nice graffiti, blah, blah. And uh, that's great, you know? Everybody's friendly, offering me coffee and stuff. And, hey, that's cool. Really, really nice to be here. And um, 
fuck all that political stuff with Brexit and whatever, you know. It's just about the humans and the humans I was getting to know here. They are super, super cool, you know. And that's also with graffiti and all that culture. That's the point on this, you know. We don't care about that. We unite together. It doesn't matter about religion, about uh, origin, about uh, skin, uh, color skin, whatever. We are just cool with each other, you know. And um, yeah, I like that. And so uh, if it's the one-up guys, the Slovakian guys, the mutants, the OCLS guys, if it's Inky, super legend, if it's Smash, if it's Russell, if it's Bruce, if it's, I don't know, I could tell you uh, how and Nozim, fucking American, German le legends, or one, or I don't know, there are so many guys, also the British, the British culture, the, the graffiti culture, super, super historic, you know, and um, fucking cool. I love it. See. Awesome, man. Awesome. You feel that I got like, uh, a I'm hot, you know, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, 100%, oh, I got goosebumps, yeah, you know, yeah, when yeah, I speak that. that. Is good, man. <laughs> it's fucking good. But I don't know, like, like painting next to eggs, amazing. Uh, painting over voider. Damn, <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. No, it was super cool, like for for being just super chilled and 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 being nice about me going over his fees. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, my dog's going to be a no bed, I can tell it. <laughs> I've been defined taking care of that. It's been really good in terms of the organising. It's just myself writing myself off every evening by getting pissed with everyone tonight. Um, but that's obviously like, you know, that's up to me. So, but yeah, they're looking after us. They're all, they're all good. <laughs> My favourite thing about painting is finishing. <laughs> no, I really enjoy it because I, I just get lost in music and like it's like hypnotic to me. It's a bit like meditation. So yeah, it's really kind of fruitful. But sometimes, you know, like today, I bust my foot. It's killing me. So yeah, I can't wait to get finished. Again, maybe next year, in two years. The regular is every two years. Definitely, bro. Definitely. I want to rock Leicester again. And I guess uh, I'm really cool with Izzy, and she's so, so cool, you know. And she's doing that so professional and with such a, also with a relaxed, relaxed way, you know. Easy, easy, always smiling. Yeah, we have some problems, but hey, c'est la vie. <laughs> I just think the festival is a really great way of showcasing what what's happening and what you, what's achievable with, you know, it's a different thing, it's, it's big mural art, it's not the same as, you know, like somebody going bombing, it, it's a different thing and it, it just brings something different to the table. I love it, um, we love it because Leicester's like a free outdoor gallery of all our favourite writers, it's wicked.
big ups to the Bring the Pain team, big ups to Lester. Thanks for having me here. Peace.